go. Hi, my name is Paula McKinney, and today I'm going to show you the um, Smart Board tutorial part one. So to start the Smart Board, you're going to want to turn it on, which in our case it's already on. But to turn it on, you press this button at the bottom, power button. And the first thing you want to do is calibrate it, which you press these two buttons together at the same time, and it'll pull up the calibration. And you just click at the center of each of these um, plus signs to calibrate. Okay, so next you want to open the Smart Board notebook and double click on the icon. <clears throat> and to work with text, you can click the um, keyboard button at the bottom of the board and it will pull up a keyboard and I'm just going to type my name and it's up here at the top you drag it down, text it out and um, you can click the edges to make the um, text bigger or smaller and you use the green button to move it around or to angle it differently. Okay, um, so the next thing I'm going to do is add an object, which you click the object button at the bottom, and I want to add a triangle. So you just take your finger and point it and stretch it to however big, you, big or small you want it. And I think that's a good size. Um, so then you go back to your mouse and I accidentally drew an extra one, so I'm just going to delete it. I'm going to select this one and um, fill it in with a color. I'm going to go to Properties and Fill Effects, a solid fill, and then pick whatever color you want. And I'm going to pick blue. Okay. And also, if you want to add an animation to this, you can right-click in the corner and go back to Properties and click Object Animation and pick a type. Um, I'm going to fly out and it'll show you and you can either pick left or right, bottom, top. I'm going to go to the bottom and I'm just going to do a fast speed and um, there's your animation. So to clone this object, you select it, you select it, right click again and press infinite cloner infinitely clone it and you just take from the middle and pull as many as you want and that adds you a few extra objects on the board to um, so now I'm gonna write a project um, a problem like with a pen and to write with a pen you just pick up the pen and start writing And I'm going to use one of my objects that move to cover it up. And you can still see it, see the four at this point. So you want to go back to properties. I mean, yeah, go back to properties and find order and bring to front so it'll cover up the four. I'm just going to get rid of some extra stuff. And if you click this, it'll reveal your four. And um, to add in the multimedia object, you come back over to the toolbar and click the picture frame and um, press interactive media, multimedia. And I'm going to pick the guitar. You just click it and drag. And to see the, or to hear the sound, you click the um, speaker in the middle. It does a little sound, and now I'm going to save. You come to the corner and click File, you can File, Save As, and I'm going to save to the desktop, and um, pull back up the keyboard, and just type in my name to save it, okay, and click Save. And that is part one tutorial.